So, I showed you the roulette table. Yeah. It's a gambling. Like when I went to Monaco, it was like full of gambling buildings. Yes. And then I wasn't allowed in because it, I was under 18. Oh, you know, I was several times playing chess in Monaco before I could go in. This is Judith Polgar, the all-time best female chess player in the world and a legend of the game. At one point, she was in fact number eight in the world, and the Hungarian chess queen has defeated 11 world champions, including Magnus Carlsen, Garry Kasparov, and Viswanathan Anand. Today, she has invited nine-year-old Bodana to her chess education center in Budapest. If I have to pick any year of my career, then 88 is the year. That was a special year for me in 88, because that was the Olympiad, that was down to 12, I won, and I won another six or seven tournaments. So that was the big milestone. And I have some more trophies, medals, but you have also quite a few. No? Bodana is currently the highest rated player under 10 years old in the world. Perhaps you have already heard about her. She beat a former English chess champion in a generation match when she was only eight years old. A chess princess, Bodana dreams about reaching as far as Judith and even beyond. And if I asked you what is your dream in chess, what do you want to reach? Um, I want to become a world champion and one of the greatest players in the world. So you want to be better than Magnus Carlsen? Yeah. So if you have to visualize your road, can you tell me just shortly how you will reach that? I think I'll just keep on correcting my mistakes and just keep enjoying it instead of stressing myself. And you go on and on and on? Yeah. So what age will you be, you think, when you reach your goal? I'm, I want to be the youngest grandmaster as well, so I want to become grandmaster. That would be like around 12. I was the youngest grandmaster at the time when I became a grandmaster. I was 15 and 4 months. At that time, it was very young because I broke Bobby Fischer's record also. But by now, age 12 is just a good age to have that. Well, it's a great joy and music to my ear that you, you want to excel in the open section because I think this is the road to get the best chess player you can be because you have to play with the players who gives you the best and biggest challenges. That's how you can improve your chess. And when you have a choice to make, to fight on in a game or agreeing to a draw. Which one you prefer? I prefer fighting until the end. Fighting until the end. So you're not afraid that you're going to make a mistake? I am not. That's very important. And this was, I think, uh, uh, my strength also, that I won enough games that I had my self-confidence and I was going all the way out in the game. <laughs> but you both love blitz. Yep. Nice. <laughs> and turn. <laughs> How do you feel seeing a young player right there? Yeah, that's very impressive that you do. It turns out they have a lot in common, Judith and Bodana. I know she was one of the top players and also whenever they know that I have two sisters and they always say that, um, do they also play chess because you can be like the vulgar sisters? Um, how many hours did you study a day? Uh, it went up from 10 minutes to half an hour and by age of uh, 8, 9, I was playing uh, like 5-6 hours already and also traveling to tournaments. I played in some events, for example, when I was nine years old, I won my first international tournament, the New York Open. There were two games a day. I'm sure you also had such a tournament already, yeah. which is very tiring, which means that I was playing maybe 10 hours every day. So most of my day days uh, went on to play chess and I was preparing for school only for a certain period before the exams. And I feel that it's very important that you, you have the focus and play chess every day. And do you solve puzzle in hand? I can like think about the moves in my head, but sometimes I do get it wrong. 
Are you afraid of being wrong? No, no. That's very important not to be yeah. afraid because that's uh, that's the way of uh, growth, yeah? Yeah. Do you want to challenge one? I tell you a position, okay? And then you tell me if you, you can follow it. Yeah. Okay? White king is on b6. White queen is on c4. White pawns are on a5, d5, and h2. Got it? Yeah. So now black. Black has opposite to the white king on b8. Black has a bishop on d4 and has the following pawns. a6, b7, c5, d6. Can you say to me what is the position? White king on b6, mm -hmm. white queen on c4, white pawns on a5, d5, h2. Super. Black pawns on a6, b7, c5 and d6. Mm -hmm. Black bishop on d4 and black king on b8. Correct. Tell me what is the evaluation of this. You have an extra queen, right? Yeah. But like, it's white to me. We can't move the queen. Because? They're threatening bishop f6 to d8. Excellent. Can you stop it? I think you play queen takes d4. Then I take queen takes d4. And now the pawn race is won by... Yeah. So, okay, you know that queen d4 is not working. What is working? H3. Bishop f6. Queen x4. Bishop h4. Is that stalemate? Stalemate, yeah. So what is Judith's secret to going from prodigy to legend, from chess princess to chess queen? Well, I think uh, it is very important to have your dreams really the most important because there are so many things nowadays that uh, it can deflect your attention, your thoughts, that uh, to be very, very good on the top, you have to stay focused. And of course, uh, it's one thing what a, a child can do. And uh, of course, the other part is the family, what they can uh, give to the children. And I think this is very important that the, the family give all the support, all the appreciation of the results and dedication and effort what uh, someone like Bodana is doing also. And of course, to keep the love for the game, what you do is very, very important because uh, then the engine inside you uh, is on a much higher uh, speed. John Spillman, he used to give me stomach puzzles. Ah. Like every every week, he used to give me homework and they were mostly by Cobble Ring. Okay, they were Kubo like, was also my favorite. Yeah, so he, he always did like mainly stomach oh. puzzles, so yeah. Oh.